Hey everyone, so in this video, I want to show you guys how to very easily convert a 11 speed uh, wheel set to work with a 10 speed cassette. So in potential help you upgrade your existing bike setup. So uh, over here, what I have is this is my commuting uh, road bike. It's a specialized Roubaix and uh, Roubaix Comp. This is a 2000, I think nine, 2010 year old model. Um, it comes with a very mediocre wheel set actually. This one I already upgraded once to a slightly lighter setup of the Mavic CXP22 wheel set, uh, which comes in at around, I think uh, 18, so one, 1850, 1850 grams. Uh, for the whole set of the wheels without the tire and everything. Um, the original CXP22 that was on here with a specialized hub was a whopping 22, uh, 2200 grams and up. So it's actually already went lighter, but I want to go even lighter. So actually today I found a killer deal on a Utegra wheel set that's 11 speed, two less compatible. However, it will work with 10 speed just perfectly fine, which in my case serves an excellent uh, upgrade for my old Roubaix. Okay, so this wheel set comes in at only 1600 grams and slightly more, which is a, over a 200 gram saving on the weight. Uh, so that's actually a pretty significant jump in terms of you know the in terms of weight upgrade, and also. The higher end wheel set actually rolls better and it also helps in, you know, just reduce your fatigue a little bit if you're riding a longer distance. Okay, so in the long run, it definitely helps you upgrade to a nice wheel set. Um, so today, in this video, I'm gonna show you, really it's super easy to remove the other speed cassette I, that's already being installed over here. And by the way, this one is actually set up as a tubeless setup. So. I bought it as is for $150, fantastic deal. I don't have to worry about the, the tubeless setup. All I have to do is remove the cassette, put the old cassette on the new cassette, and just do one very simple modification for it to work. Okay, so let's get started. So over here, uh, I'm showing you guys all the tools needed to convert a 11 speed for a 10 speed cassette. Um, here is the 11 speed wheel. And uh, the only thing you need to buy if you bought a used wheel set it doesn't come with is a spacer. It's a special 1.85 millimeter Shimano spacer that's used to convert 11 to 10. This one is actually from an old wheel set that I bought. Luckily, I have this in my toolbox. If you don't have it, just go on Amazon, go on eBay, get a 1.85 millimeter spacer for 10 speed cassette. Okay. This is the only extra tool you need to buy. Now, to change the cassette, you'll need a few extra tools. One is a cassette removal tool or the installation tool. This one is from Park Tool. Um, it's the, I don't know what the model number is, but I'll post the link down below. You need a cassette remover and installer. And you also need a chain whip which actually locks onto the chain when you're trying to remove the cassette using the cassette tool. And the very last thing you need is a wrench that actually fits the cassette tool in this case. It's just a 12 inch Husky wrench I had from a local hardware store. So as you can see, this is all the tools you need to remove the cassette and install the cassette. Okay, let's get started. So first thing first, um, let me change my angle a little bit so I can show you guys a little better. So first thing first is we're going to remove this 11 speed cassette because uh, the nice thing is this cassette is actually in fantastic condition. So when I get it out and then when I sell it, I can recover some of the money that I spent to get this, um, this Utegra 11 speed wheel set. Uh, so that's the nice thing about finding a really nice used deal is you save a lot of money in the long run because your Tegra wheel set together is over, I think, $400, close to $500 for a wheel set, a brand new one. 
doesn't even come with a tire and a cassette. Okay, so with the quick release removed, it exposes this little area that you're gonna insert your cassette tool, which again aligns perfectly in there. So all you have to do is just drop it in here, and to remove it, you have to actually rotate counterclockwise on the little cap on the top. So obviously, as you can see, when I'm rotating this, it's not releasing it. That's why you need a chain whip to actually lock onto the chain so you can use your wrench and nicely lock and unscrew the wheel set, okay? So this is pretty much all you have to do, but instead of doing this on, on the ground, I'm gonna put up my log because this thing actually requires quite a lot of torque to remove. So I usually, what I usually do is actually I put the wheel up, get a set of nice uh, leather gloves so your hand doesn't hurt when you're trying to remove it. So I'm gonna have the wheel kind of a little bit tilted this way and get it locked nice and tight. And then we're just gonna turn this knob counterclockwise with the tool really nicely situated in here. Okay, so get a good grip. Oh, guess what? Um, this guy didn't need to install it very, very tightly on here. It's pretty much just loose. So at least you guys know how I do this, how I remove the cassette. So uh, with this loosened, you can remove the chain whip and just you know use your hand to get the cassette removed. And usually, this is the cap. Don't lose everything. Leave everything on the side. And with higher end um, cassettes, it usually comes in a couple pieces at the front and then a set piece for the last three or four cogs. And then I suspect this is probably the case. Okay, so let's just take a look. Like so. So you have a couple of spacers in here. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about the order because you won't you won't mess it up when you re-put it there. Otherwise, it just wouldn't go in properly. Okay, but I'll show you guys how to reinstall the cassette in a little bit. At this point, you already saw how to properly remove a 11-speed cassette on a 11-speed hub. So now this hub is 11-speed, so it's slightly longer uh, than your regular 10-speed hub, and that is why you need this little 1.85 millimeter spacer. So all you have to do is drop this spacer, align it into one of the like wider grooves right here, and you simply just put the spacer in here, make sure the direction is correct, Voila, so once you have the spacer here, you're pretty much all set to install the existing 10-speed cassette, which I have installed on my old wheel. So again, I'm gonna be removing the cassette one more time and then install the 10-speed cassette with the spacer already attached onto the 11-speed hub. Uh, this one is actually on pretty tight, so exact same way of removing uh, the cassette from the 10 speed, there's really not much difference at all. You're gonna whip out your cassette removal set of tools, just align it. the cassette tool in here, drop in, and we're just gonna turn and twist counterclockwise until it's loose. Now it's loose, you can just loosen by hand, okay? like so. Now we are pretty much ready to install this cassette 
onto the Shimano uh, Utegra wheel. And again, don't lose the cap, okay? So take a look. This is with the 10-speed cassette retrofitted onto a 11-speed Utegra wheel set. Um, absolutely no problem. Shifts perfectly fine. So if, you're, if you guys are wondering if you can retrofit a 10-speed cassette, or for that matter, a 9-speed, 8-speed cassette, they all have the same spacing. So any of those speeds will fit perfectly fine on the 11-speed hub with a Shimano 1.85 millimeter spacer that they sell, okay? So this wraps up this video. If you guys have any questions about retrofitting your 10-speed um, cassette on a new 11-speed well said that you just found a good deal on, uh, go ahead and do that. It's uh, definitely a huge upgrade for my already aging uh, road bike. Okay, so thanks again. Uh, please do hit the like button or subscribe if you found my video helpful. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.